teacher talking sports what it does what it do how we live and sometimes in sports you hear about one year wonders guys that have one great season never to duplicate it again maybe like in the nfl a scott mitchell with the lions had that one awesome season dark anderson had a very good season with the cleveland browns something like former madden cover boy peyton hillis with the browns but how about guys who had one great game that they never came close to duplicating that's what we're gonna look at here i'm gonna do three that i remember quite fondly in the nfl um so all of them are fairly recent so definitely let me know in the comments at the end uh, some other one game wonders you can remember but let's get started with one of the more famous ones that being matt flynn with the Green Bay Packers. He played in a meaningless week 17 game uh, when the season was 17 weeks, 16 games uh, for each team. And he balled out, but if you take a look at his career numbers, it wasn't that spectacular of a career as he made just seven starts in his career for only for 2,541 yards and 17 touchdowns. But as you could see in that week 17 game, um, January 1st, 2012, so the first day of 2012, Matt Flynn went 31 of 44 for 480 yards and six passing touchdowns. Uh, definitely one of the most prolific performances ever. Uh, you can see uh, he actually signed a three-year $19 million deal. Um, which was a decent contract back then. I mean, of course, quarterback contracts have skyrocketed in the decades since. $10 million guaranteed. It, it mentions, this is Bleacher Report, Flynn would be in a competition for the starting job with Tavares Jackson. Well, it was neither of them because Russell Wilson won the job and started the entire season. You take a look at most passing yards in a game in NFL history. There is Matt Flynn tied for 36th with his former teammate Aaron Rodgers with his 480 passing yards in that January 1st, 2012 game. Next, let's go with a running back, that being Jerome Harrison, who performed his uh, monstrous game with the Cleveland Browns. You take a look at his career numbers. Nothing to write home about. 63 career games, 1,681 rushing yards, and seven touchdowns. But on J December 20th, 2009, it was an historic performance for Harrison um, in a 41-34 victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. In that game, Harrison had 34 carries, four, two. 186 yards and three rushing touchdowns. I know you're saying, okay, we'll look at the next two games. He also rushed for uh, over 100 yards. But in both those games, he didn't even average four yards a carry. In that December 20th game, he averaged 8.4 yards per carry in an incredible performance. If you look at the all-time rushing single-game yardage leaders, uh, the first two names are very familiar names. Adrian Peterson has a record, 296. J Jamal Lewis second at 295. And there is Jerome Harrison third, 286 in that December 20th, 2009 game. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that. Um, he actually, they found a brain tumor. It was found to be benign, uh, but there was blood vessels in it. Um, you know, which dealt with complications. Luckily, he's mostly doing well um, now, but he'll always have that fateful moment in the NFL, third most rushing yards in a game. And let's end with wide receiver Jeff Janis. Uh, Janis, two or three guys on here did their game with the Packers. Uh, that's what Janis did. We take a look at his career numbers. 51 games, 17 catches for 200 yards and one touchdown. I know you see those career numbers and you're thinking to yourself, how could Janice have had 
a one game wonder did he get all those stats in one game well unlike the first two jeff janice's performance actually came in the postseason um came on january 16th 2016 in a postseason game against the arizona cardinals unfortunately they lost 26 to 20 in overtime but look at janice's numbers seven catches 145 yards and two touchdowns you can see he participated in four other playoff games and never had a reception in any of those others uh, he also had a 41 yard touchdown catch as time expired in that game which sent the game into overtime again unfortunately they lost but uh you know again jeff janice could always tell his grandkids about that one awesome performance he had in the postseason so there you have it three of the one game wonders i most remember from the nfl definitely let me know in the comments if you could think of any others uh if you know of some way in nfl history i'm still interested i love uh you know even way before my time taking a look at uh players from the past uh, but these three at least could say that they had one amazing performance in their career, which is more than 99.99999% of the world. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.